Away from politics, let's turn to security matters. The Katsina state government delegation led by the secretary to the state government has visited recently attacked communities by bandits in Bakari and Kankara local government areas to comm commiserate with them. The visit is coming days after the deadly face-off between security volunteers and bandits led to heavy casualty. Abdulatif Yusuf has more, and after this report, we'll bring you updates in business. Stay with us. The communities are still mourning their dead after what they describe as the deadliest days of insecurity in these localities. This is Malam Farouk, whose immediate brother was killed in the attack. The state government is on ground to console and strengthen the people over the challenges. The people had enjoyed relative peace not until this moment. They're still counting the dead. Nobody can tell you actually and give you an accurate number because uh, some of the bodies are scattered in the bush. You have to go and retrieve them. And in some places, the bandits themselves are being obstacled to retrieving the bodies. So really, maybe in the next few days, we should be in a position to tell you how many people were killed. To be candid, uh these uh, uh, cattle wrestlers with bandits. They organized themselves and attacked different communities, about four or five communities, and killed several people. Although the people of that community have really tried to defend themselves. At least um, they, have, they, they, they have tried to kill so many of them also. But the issue is that they came in large number. As I said, we believe in predestination, Qadar. So whatever happens is already planned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we can't go beyond that. But we have to bear it and even call our people to uh, accept these uh, trials. It is a trial, as you know. So we believe in Allah and we believe in what Allah plans for us. So the situation is calm. We believe in Allah. It's Allah that caused these things. Because they have been operating this thing for long and nothing happened. The concern of the people now is the possibility of reprisal attacks by criminal groups, despite reassurances from the authorities. Islamic leaders are also calling for special prayers and more unity among the faithfuls to face the common threat ahead. Abdullah Yusuf, TVC News, Kazana.